on MLB, one WNBA player profiting on price picks for Tuesday, August 29th. Link in the description, you guys. Premium Discord, $9.30 per month. I post all the plays I'm making. We also have Premium Discord, uh, Premium Cappers in there as well that post their own plays. So go ahead and check out that link. Uh, super fun, supportive community as well. Positive community. Um, again, well over 120 members now in the Premium Discord. So go ahead and check out that link in the description below. Um, again, not a financial advisor. This is not gambling advice. It's simply just plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one is pressing submit on those parlays other than yourself. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, we had a horrible day yesterday. Some super unlucky things happened. John Cole Jones, three fouls in the first half, finished with five total fouls, only played 17 minutes. I think she still finished with, like, 19 fantasy. Um, and then Johan Oviedo <coughs> threw a complete game, nine innings pitched, shutout. So, again, stuff like that just goes to show you um, the volatility in with sports betting and really why we bet here but let's get into it hopefully looking for a bounce back day um yeah it's not wasting time let's just get right into it so the first play i like it's a pitcher prop it's gonna be cole reagan's or raggins over six strikeouts now if you're a last five better um you probably like this play just taking a look at his last five four of his last five starts he's gone over this line um eight against the mets 11 versus boston which is i mean great in my opinion um, nine against the Cubs and 11 of versus Chicago. All we need is seven from him tonight. And really since becoming a starting pitcher, he's just been carrying a ton of people. Um, let's take a look at this. So right here, Cole, Cole Reagans, um, we take a look at his MLB percentile rankings. 75, 75, 75th percentile in uh, width percentage, 84th percentile in K percentage, 49th percentile in chase rate. Fastball velocity 76 and fastball spin 91st percentile, you guys, which to me is all elite stuff, right? 49th percentile chase rate, or sorry, 49th percentile chase rate could be a little bit better, but I mean, this is a young pitcher, power pitcher in my opinion, 6'4", left-handed pitcher, was a first-round pick um, back in 20, 2016. Um, but let's take a look at this. So he's listed on a lot of major sports books at six and a half, right? So obviously you get a bargain here or discount here at six um, with elite push potential. So you can see here at at five and a half, he's currently let's see minus one ninety four on Fanduel to go over five and a half strikeouts over his last five. Like I said, four of his last five finished with five here um, versus St. Louis, but it's a strong matchup in my opinion, right? So we're taking a look here at some recent starting pitchers um, game log this season versus the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. So Jordan Wicks just had nine Ks in five innings versus Pittsburgh in his most recent start. I mean, and we're talking about a super young pitcher as well. This is like his second or this is like his MLB debut, actually. He had nine Ks versus Pittsburgh. He's a left-handed pitcher. Um, and actually, six of the last seven starting pitchers have cleared their own or at least pushed their own um, price picks line. Um, I think Justin Steele was at five and a half. He cleared. Uh, Zach Tom Thompson was probably at four and a half or five. Drew Rom. I mean, these are not super strikeout heavy guys. We see Williamson and Abbott down here had nine and six. Both these guys can get Ks, and that was on the road. This is a home game for Kansas City here. We take a look at that potential lineup for Kansas City, right? And uh, Cole Reagans, he throws the slider 13.1% of the time. Um, and you can see the hit, the strikeout rate for these guys versus the slider. Um, against the changeup as well, which he throws 27.2% of the time, look at the K rate. The K rate is massive for these dudes. Every single guy in this potential lineup for uh, Pittsburgh has a strikeout percentage versus the changeup of 20% or higher, which again is a changeup, is a pitch that I think um, we're expecting Cole Reagans um, to use quite a bit tonight. He's also a little bit better at home, as most pitchers are. Um, we take a look at some splits for Cole Reagans as well. Um, 354 ERA, obviously he hasn't pitched a ton. He's only made, uh, what, six starts now this season. He was coming out of the bullpen. Um, now since becoming a full-time starter, really since, um, I think when he first made his start was August 2nd, and he's been pitching deep in the games, 90 plus pitches every time he goes out there, 106 here, 104 here. So we can expect, um, you know, if the earned runs stay down, Cole Reagans to pitch at least six innings tonight, which gives us even better probability here for him to clear this line, I think, um, as far as just maybe getting one strike up per inning, maybe a few innings with a couple. Um, we take a look at some splits over the last, since August 1st. Now, this is what intrigued me about this play. Since August 1st to today, um, Cole Reagans, second highest Ks per nine innings in baseball. Second highest strikeout percentage, probably second highest as well. 36.4% K rate since becoming a starting pitcher. Um, but literally 13.3 Ks per nine innings. If he gives us six innings here tonight, that should be at least seven strikeouts 
from him for us tonight on this prop. I think elite push potential here as well at six. Um, don't know if I have the same confidence at six and a half only because we do get that push potential here. I think at bare minimum, Cole Reagans is getting a six tonight. Um, so that's why I'm really targeting this. And then also, I mean, versus left-handers away, Pittsburgh eighth lowest WRC plus in baseball um, since August 1st as well. If you just take away the away aspect of it, um, they are hitting somewhere. Oh, yeah. Or is this lopsided? Um, Pittsburgh seventh lowest WRC plus. So they're just not able to hit lefties as of late. Pittsburgh obviously not playing for anything. And then also, too, if we take a look over on um, DG Fantasy, all right, again, great resource tool, you guys. There's a link at the top of the description. You get a seven-day free trial with DG Fantasy. Um, it compares all the lines on all the major sports books and gives you one percentage odds to hit. Um, currently, Cole Reagans is down here at uh, 52.27 odds to hit. He is listed at 6.5, so, again, there is a little bit of a discrepancy as he is listed at 6 on price picks. Um, and then we take a look also something interesting as well that I don't know if you guys maybe want to consider. Um, DG Fantasy has the pitcher fantasy score, and Cole Reagans is, I think his fantasy score is, I mean, 53.3, 53.03 odds to hit as well. So I like Cole Reagans here at six strikeouts against Pittsburgh at home. This dude's just been king absolutely everyone as of late. You can see the hit rate 8, 11, 9, and 11. All we need tonight is six to push, seven to clear, minus 194 to get us at least strikeouts tonight. Six strikeouts tonight. Cole Reagans is the first play. Second play is a WNBA first half prop, and it's going to be a fantasy score. It should be a wagon. Um, if you've been following the channel or in the Discord, you know this has been an absolute wagon all season long, really since she became a starter. Um, it's going to be Azura Stevens over 13 and a half, th sorry, 13 fantasy score um, in the first half here. So she's cleared this in her last three games, right? She's super hot right now 29.6, 25.4, and 22.4 in her first half. In the first half over the last three games here for Azura Stevens, she's playing really, really well as of late. Um, and we can see here since August 1st in the first half, she's averaging 16.7 fantasy points in the first half. She's playing 14.6 minutes in the first half. If she stays out of foul trouble, I think the production um, will absolutely be there. And then it's a strong matchup, right? So the Chicago Sky, 49.5 points per game to the forward position, which is the second most in the WNBA. They also allow the most assists in the WNBA to forwards, the most rebounds, the second most blocks, and the most steals to forwards in the WNBA. And that's Azura Stevens and uh, Nyeka play the forward, the bigs together, four and the five. They kind of um, interchangeable as far as offense and defense goes. So it's a super strong matchup. We look at some forwards like this is just since August 1st in the first half forwards versus the Chicago sky, right? This is the first half. This is what averages Natasha Howard 24. Look at all these forwards averaging at least 13. This is since August 1st, you guys. Horston, Bonner, Hawkins, Shepard, Milchit, Milicic, or Milich, uh, Collier, Diamond Miller, Cheyenne Parker, Lisa Thomas, Sabali, Stewart, Howard, all averaging well over 13 fantasy score. Um, against the Chicago Sky in the first half. And honestly, no one has been better in the first half as of late than Azura Stevens. So this is the second play, uh, Azura Stevens over 13 fantasy sc score. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments below how you feel about these two plays. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, let's catch.